Twitter gave Elon Musk too much trouble, and that can be why Elon is now very focused on moving forward with his own social media platform. Considering how wealthy and influential Elon Musk is, there wouldn't be a problem competing with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter directly. But there are two big problems Elon needs to solve in order to get this major platform started. It has been in the news for the last two months that Elon Musk made an advance towards acquiring the social media company Twitter. It is also a drama that will most certainly unfold over the next several months, if not years. But the question is, what if Elon Musk's Twitter deal doesn't go through? On the 4th of April 2022, when Elon Musk revealed his acquisition of 9.1% of Twitter through a tweet, investors, his followers, and other users of the platform alike rejoiced at the news that Musk had become the most significant stakeholder in his favorite social networking site. Moving on, Elon did what any self-respecting Twitter user would do and promptly started posting a poll asking for user feedback on how to improve the service. In response, the corporation made him an offer to join the board, which would have limited his ownership to 15%. He initially gave a positive response, and after first agreeing, he later declined. On the 25th of April, the board of directors of Twitter approved Musk's bid to acquire the complete control over the company for $54.20 per share, or $44 billion. His April the 14th offer was the same as this one. Twitter will transition to a private entity if the deal closes. But current lawsuits will determine if Elon Musk will end up buying the company. But while the back and forth goes on, Musk is busy with plans to create his own social media platform if the Twitter deal doesn't go through. There are no guesses to this one, as Musk hinted to the public through a tweet. He responded to an inquiry from his followers who asked, Have you thought about creating your own social platform if the Twitter deal doesn't come through? Right away, Elon replied, x.com. The response was short, but straight to the point. Is he about to give Twitter a new rival? We cannot overrule this. If Musk can predict the future, he can plan for the same. Musk reacquired the domain name from PayPal in 2017, shortly after claiming that he had relaunched the site, which is presently entirely blank, save for a little x in the upper left of a white screen. The importance of the URL becomes clear if one travels back in time to the year 2000. That was when Musk's online financial services business, Axe.com, joined with Confinity, which operated a relatively unknown money transfer service named PayPal. But another question is, if Elon is going to create Axe.com by himself? In the past, Peter Thiel and Mask Lefchin Two well-known internet entrepreneurs and investors co-founded Confinity. Till made a millionaire by investing early in Facebook. At the same time, Levchin co-founded Yelp and now runs a digital credit business called Affirm. The two firms joined forces and investors and the board of directors concluded that X.com was the stronger brand. However, once Musk departed the firm in 2000, Due to differences with senior executives, the whole operation was renamed PayPal the following year. After taxes, Musk made between $160 and $180 million when PayPal went public and was acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion in 2002. So the answer is yes, if you are still wondering if Musk will go through with his plan. Musk may be considering launching his own social media platform in response to user complaints that Twitter and Facebook aren't doing enough to protect freedom of expression and promote democracy. Musk believes that free expression is crucial to a healthy democracy. He went on to poll Twitter users on whether they thought the platform rigorously confirms to this ideal. The results of a survey 70.4% of the Twitter users are opposed to the social media network, while 29.6% favor it. As a follow-up, Musk asked, Is a new platform needed? Quite a few of his fans backed the idea, 
was one of them even suggesting that the billionaire purchase Twitter. Another one said, we needed it for sure. Several people even offered names for a potential new social networking site. At the same time, another user inquired when Musk plans to launch one. I am giving this much consideration, Musk said in response. The survey shows that Musk has a prevailing edge with X.com if he does go on with his plans. Musk has a lot of money, so he has no intention of purchasing Twitter for financial gain. Since he considers Twitter the de facto town square, he advocates for the algorithm behind the social media platform to be made publicly available. He is positioning his takeover effort as a battle in defense of freedom of expression. However, even a free speech absolutist like Musk has to persuade shareholders that accepting his buyout bid is in their best financial interests. Even though PayPal isn't disclosing exactly how much Musk spent for X.com, and Musk hasn't said what he wants to do with it, it's safe to assume that it wasn't cheap. However, his Tesla does produce a Model X, and he unmistakably took inspiration from that moniker when he began branding his space enterprise in 2002. We will see whether the domain name is ever used for a spaceship or an automobile. In addition, after promising he wouldn't sell any more Tesla shares, Musk has sold $6.9 billion worth, prompting speculations that Axe.com might soon become a possible challenger to Twitter. Many think he's doing this so he won't be able to back out of his $44 billion deal to purchase Twitter. Musk may not know this as much as some of us do. The Tesla's rise has been greatly aided by Twitter, which has also served as the scene of more than one spectacular blunder. In the end, it is where Musk's most loyal customers congregate to support him, where his detractors and stock shorts launch their results, and where Musk himself hypes new goods and projects without the filter of a PR team and on more than one occasion makes a costly blunder of his own. It will interest you to know that Tesla was one of the most shorted companies on the market for many years, and the shorts performed their job mainly on Twitter. Speculation suspected an army of pro-Tesla bots seemed to have a role in driving the stock prices up behind the scenes. Musk has evolved from a company's CEO to a unique power on Twitter, acquiring more than 100 million followers and becoming one of the platform's most prominent and influential personalities. Musk's tweets to his followers replaced Tesla's PR staff when it was abolished sometime around 2020. Even today, product announcements usually come in the form of his Twitter answers and offhand remarks to his fans. Today, Tesla is by far the most valuable car company in the world, and Musk is the world's wealthiest person who controls a social networking platform. Before revealing his interest in acquiring Twitter, Musk had boosted his Twitter presence to the point where he and Tesla could do something that almost no other business can – impact the company's fortunes and the stock market as a whole with a few tweets. Musk can influence American and global affairs with a single tweet as well. You might argue that's the power that money cannot buy, but he just did. There is the poison pill, as well as some earlier measures in the company's bylaws that may make taking control exceedingly difficult for Musk. The poison pill is a new shareholders' rights plan that allows some shareholders to acquire additional shares if Musk or another buyer tries to take control. It also indicates that Twitter's board of directors plans to oppose Musk's attempts for exclusive control of the company. Twitter's board members are planning their reaction to the world's wealthiest person's takeover effort behind the scenes. Musk's old company's URL, X.com, redirects visitors to a website with a single X on a blank backdrop. We give you the pleasure of trying it out if you're in doubt. Meanwhile, the Twitter exchange comes as Musk fights Twitter in court over his effort to back out of the contract to purchase the social media platform. Musk is seeking support for the arrangement after accusing the platform of hosting more spam and phony accounts than previously stated. 
after Twitter sued Musk to compel him to complete the $44 billion transaction, Musk countersued the company in Texas for fraud, breach of contract, and violation of a securities law, claiming the company deceived his team about the size of its user base. Are you potentially ready to switch to X.com and abandon other social media sites? Tell us what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.